Welcome back to Cybos 2019, where cybersecurity has been dominating many of the conversations at the conference. We've also enjoyed more sessions in the popular View from the Top series, where we've heard from one of Britain's former top spies, plus insights from some major industry leaders. Against the backdrop of global macroeconomic risks, low interest rates, and a fragmenting Europe, we must make ourselves weatherproof. A stable structure for a bank has never been more important. I think there are two specific issues in terms of change. One is uh, linked to cybersecurity, which is uh, with GDPR, not only a regulatory issue, but also a, a financial risk. The second thing which is important in the place of innovation is uh, the ethical use of data. Former head of MI5, Dame Stella Remington, got the conference thinking about cybersecurity and offered some context with a story from the start of her career. And we were introduced to a long line of men sitting at a long deal table. And each man had in front of him a kettle. And on the kettle was a long spout. And they had a knitting needle. And they were steaming open the letters. And that, believe it or not, was the interception of communications in the 1970s. Then the conference got right up to date. Uh, we've seen the emergence of a much more aggressive strain um, of attackers. Uh, higher end capability, the combination of bespoke malware, advanced social engineering, for example, to directly target bank transfer payment systems. A very, very low percentage of customers have enabled multi-factor authentication. And to my mind, that just means that you're relying on people using their dog's name as the password. Yeah, I think it's like 90% of all attacks would be stopped by enabling multi-factor authentication. They've not necessarily been very sophisticated attacks. They've targeted basic security controls and foundational elements that we are all expected to implement. To make the point, delegates witnessed a live hacking demonstration. Our mission was accomplished. We were able to hack into the newly secure McDuck Bank. Then heard who the hackers are and how cyber teams are trying to identify them. Years ago, you had criminal actors on one side and nation state actors on the other. They're working together now. When you're authenticating a painting, you're going to look at the frame, you're going to look at the paint, you're going to look at the brush stroke. Well, we do a lot of the same things when we're doing attributions of an adversary. Away from the cyber threat, it was geopolitics getting people thinking. Last year, we saw monetary policy tightening globally led by America, China tightening policy, and then we were hit by the trade dispute, and the combination of all those factors slowed the global economy. I do think we're at the beginning of a long road, it's going to outlast Trump, it's going to get worse before the US general election. Aside from economic and financial developments uh, in China, I think it's crucially important to look at the, the political developments, even though sometimes it's really difficult to get the information that we want to get. And it wasn't just delegates' brains getting a workout. The Cybos 5K run set a challenge for the conference's early risers. 